Welcome back to the Tacoma Holic channel, everybody. Lifting your Tacoma is certainly awesome. But it often opens a can of worms, which leads to annoying vibrations on your beloved Tacoma. So today, we will be going over the top three vibrations you will experience in your Tacoma. And first on the list is your tires and wheels being out of balance. Now, obviously this can happen on completely factory tires and wheels, and it's not dependent on lifting your Tacoma. But let's face it, if you're gonna lift your Tacoma, you're probably gonna add larger tires as well, because that's really the whole point, to get that added ground clearance off-road. Bigger tires that are both bigger in radius, diameter, and width are often more difficult to balance, leading to all kinds of vibration issues. You'll usually be able to feel this in the steering wheel, so that is probably gonna be a good starting point. Now, unless you're a tire shop technician or whatever, this isn't something you can actually fix at home, so just take it to a trusted tire shop to have them balanced. And there is a technique called road force balancing you might wanna look into if you have taken your Tacoma to places to get the tires and wheels balanced repeatedly and you're still getting that vibration. I can't remember exactly what the deal is with road force balancing, but I have heard it is actually much better for larger tires, particularly with the crazy mud terrain and stuff like that. So if you are getting vibrations in your lifted Tacoma with bigger wheels and tires, look into getting your tires properly balanced to start with. And the next item on the list involves your actual drive line. When you lift your Tacoma, you will change the angle of your drive shaft. So if you think of it starting out at, it's not exactly parallel to the ground, but if you lift the back of your truck, et cetera, and the front, you'll change that angle just a little bit, usually enough to sometimes give you a small vibration. The good news is you can usually remedy this yourself. I have a video for each of these remedies. The first is the carrier bearing drop kit, which literally puts, I think it's a half inch or one inch spacer above where your carrier bearing sits on your drive shaft so you can space that part down just a little bit changing the angle on that side of the drive shaft and on the other end of your drive shaft by your diff you can use actual shims to sort of tilt the diff a little bit to adjust the angle that way this has usually worked and each of those i want to say they're just like 30 or 40 bucks maybe and just a few minutes to install so not that hard I will put links for both of those videos showing you how to install those parts down in the description below so definitely check it out and the last one is probably one you are very familiar with if you have been on any Tacoma forums at all, and that is replacing the needle bearing in the driver's side of your CV axle with the usually the ECGS clamshell bushing. I'll put a picture on the screen now so you can see the differences between them, but as you can see why they call it the needle bearing, all those tines in there, replacing that with a smooth version. And I think this is something that can actually cause vibrations even if you haven't lifted your Tacoma over time. It's just a part that comes with a truck from the factory that has been known to fail, but I think actually lifting the truck sort of speeds that process up. The install is not too difficult. I have a installation tutorial video right up there. The only problem is I think you have to use a specific tool which costs just as much as the part, like 60 bucks. So if you have any local Tacoma buddies, maybe a few of you can go in on the tools so you're just not spending all that money yourself and pretty much doubling what you're gonna have to pay. I wanna say the part is actually 60 bucks. Like I mentioned, East Coast Gear Supply, I think Trail Gear and a few other competitors have released versions, but as you can see from that picture, it's just a simple little bushing part. Out with the old, in with the new, and you are good to go. There is an easy way to determine if this vibration you're experiencing is from that needle bearing going bad. While you are going straight, uh, like maybe on a highway or a regular flat road, say like 40, 45 miles an hour, that's usually where the vibration comes in. If you put it into four high, and the vibration immediately goes away, again, while you're straight, since you're gonna be on a dry road, then the needle bearing is nine times out of 10 the cause of that vibration. So check it out, get back to me, let me know if that was the cause. All right, guys, short and sweet today. Comment below, let me know what you thought of this video going over the first three common vibrations you will experience in your Tacoma. And if you have had vibrations with your truck and have tried all three of these things and still have a vibration, comment below, I'd love to hear what it is because I think these are the three most specific ones I've even heard about, so I'd be curious to see if there is anything else if you've tried all of these remedies yourself. As always, thank you so much for supporting the channel by watching this video. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I'll see you in the next video.